Okay, thanks a lot, Rob. Some people have to wait until retirement to fulfill their lifelong dreams. Others, like Tully Wilson, are luckier and get to do the job earlier in life. You see, Tully turned an old home in Hartsville into his dream destination of fine dining. And Teresa Bush is going to take us there to check it out. Four Merlot chickens, eight ounce ribeye. Tully Wilson has always known what he wanted to do for a living, own a restaurant and be its executive chef. He also knew he wanted to serve finer foods. He wanted a building that provided the perfect ambiance day or night. And he wanted to make it affordable so families would come in at any time, not just for special occasions. But most of all, Tully Wilson wanted his place to be one where, as he puts it, folks go for a dining experience. It's a casual dining restaurant. It's not a place to come in and hurry. I want you to come in and relax and actually dine. I don't believe America dines anymore. And I have family members that come in and they order an appetizer, an entree and dessert, and they're here for two, three hours and it's an experience. I want food as an experience. You should really enjoy everything you eat and take it in because you're not just feeding your body, you're having an aesthetic experience. Tully describes his food as American French fusion. It's American in that you can get chicken, hamburger, and a filet, and it's French because of the way the food is presented. The French portion comes in into the plating. It's all art. It all has a garnish. It all has a sauce. Tully opened Tully's Bistro in 2007. It's just a few blocks from the square in Hartsville, which is Trousdale County. Tully lives there now, and his mother, KK, lives just down the road in Sumner County. You'll often find her helping out in the kitchen and doing all of the restaurant's marketing. So when Tully found out this corner property was available, he jumped at the chance to buy it. Because of its location, yes, but also because of the historical importance of the structure. You see, it's the second oldest house in Hartsville. The home is over 200 years old, we found out. It's been here since this was part of North Carolina. We ripped off all the lathing, cheeking, and sheetrock that were on it and found that it was all hand-hewn nails on it and huge logs for the structure. The most recent residents of the home were Etheridge Johnson Parker III, his wife Pam, and their two children, Mary and Etheridge Johnson Parker IV, John for short. And he was kind enough to join us at the restaurant to tell us what it was like to have once called this home. I lived here for uh, 14 years. I was the last resident to live here. My whole family has lived here for four generations. It was nice when we lived here, but I mean, now it's, it's really nice, and I'm proud to look at my room and see what it's become. The two downstairs dining rooms used to be the family's den and living room. Upstairs, those two rooms were the children's bedrooms. The kitchen is in the same place, but had to be expanded into what was the master bedroom. Tully can't remember a day when he didn't think about cooking. When he was just 12 or 13 years old, he began cooking dinner for his parents, even some of his school teachers. While at Lebanon High School, he majored in culinary arts. And when it came time to go to college, Tully says there was only one choice, the Culinary Institute of America in New York, and it's known around the world. Tully gives a lot of credit to the Culinary Institute of America for getting him to where he is today. So when he decided to create this bistro, he wanted to do something that would constantly remind him of his alma mater. And as it turns out, Tully didn't do just one thing, he did two things. I have a mural that runs all the way up the staircase and on the hutch is a window and the window is actually an exact replica of the Caterina de' Medici restaurant. So I have a piece of my college painted into the restaurant. And this crystal and glass chandelier that you see in the foyer is a replica of one that still hangs in Tully's favorite school restaurant. As owner and executive chef, 
Tully caters to your every whim. If you want something that's not on the menu, he'll make it for you because he can, but most of all, because he wants to. I always try to hit that home emotion we say. I've seen people at tables cry because, you know, if food can bring up a memory, I want you to go away being absolutely happy. I don't want you to ever go away bloated. The food should just, you should be pleasant and feel full and be like, wow, overall, this was a great experience. The service was great. The place is amazing. And the food was good. You know, you always want your food to be good. Thank you.